months ago from Northern Tool. It was one of those folding ones that come in a box for like 500 bucks. And I just kind of beeped it up. Put this metal wire stuff on it right here. Extend the tongue. Some stronger beams on it so it'd support more weight. And added some high speed tires. I use it for just like carrying the kayak or anything else in here that I need to, to carry. But what I want to do is make it a dirt bike trailer. When I put my overland tent on the back of my truck, then there's nowhere to put the dirt bikes. So the plan is to be able to have the two dirt bikes sitting side by side on the trailer. And I have one of these things that I bought from Harbor Freight. I'm probably going to put on the front and see how that works out. If it works pretty good, I'll probably buy another one. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually load the dirt bikes up there. Have them sitting side by side so I can see how they fit and uh, where I need to mount the tire chalk and then kind of just go from there. I know this tire chalk will work for the KLX. Uh, it's almost the perfect size for the KLX. No, actually, I think that's going to work too just fine. I thought it was going to be maybe too small, but you don't need it too big. You just need it kind of just to hold it from rolling forward and turning sideways. So I think that's going to work perfectly. I think these are only like maybe like 12 bucks at Harbor Freight. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go to Harbor Freight and get another one of these. Trying to figure out how I'm going to mount it because this is just like grating right here. The only where to, place to mount it would be on these beams right here. And if I did that on the YZ, then I'm thinking it might be too far back. I'm not sure actually. So this is where it would be, I think that could work. Or, or just mount it like that on the front. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better. If I just mount this on this front beam, I wanna have the weight as far forward as possible so that the trailer will pull better. Yep, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. back from Harbor Freight. A little skeptical picking these up. I don't know how much I trust Harbor Freight hardware, but it's just gonna hold this down. Not gonna be a whole lot of stress on it, so it should be okay. Anyways, go ahead and get that assembled. That should work. I'll probably end up cutting this off just to make it look a little better. Okay, so this doesn't come with the lock washers. So uh, let me go see if I have some. I don't have any lock washers or lock nuts for this size bolt. So I'll just have to come back later and do that. It should be okay for now. Before I actually mount this one, I think I'm gonna load the YZ up that way I can have a reference for you know how far up I want this or how far over just to be safe. Yeah, so that's gonna be perfect. We got plenty of room for this. Just need to find a good spot around these diamonds. I think about right there. Alright, should be 
good to go. Now I just gotta find the best way to strap these down. I've seen people use turnbuckles where they put them basically where my straps are right there on the foot pegs and just use turnbuckles to pull them straight down. I'll probably end up eventually doing that. For now, I'm probably just gonna just use some ratchet straps. I'm gonna play around with some straps a little bit and see what the best way to do this is. Yeah, I don't think I trust that too much. I think that's pretty good. I have nowhere to hook the strap on the other side, so I have these little like hooks right here that you can just bolt down, screw down to your trailer. I think I'm gonna install one on the inside right there to where I can hook, hook the strap on this side. Just install this hook right here. Kind of bolts down to the, the frame. It gives me an anchor point to where I can hook the strap to. Cause I can't get them through here, this hook, so. I think this is gonna work pretty good. This thing's rated for like 1,200 pounds. The screws, I don't know if they're rated for 1,200 pounds, but definitely enough to hold this little bike down. So, should work out fine. Oh, this might be too short. Might have to just put another hook right here. works but that is not looking too good for my seat I don't think I'm gonna do that Through here Might have an idea. Yeah, that'll do it. I wanted to give a quick update on the bike trailer. Yesterday when I went to my parents' house, I got about halfway there, so about 30 minutes down the road, and I pulled over to check the straps, and one of the straps had ripped. So luckily I had put up a safety strap or my YZ250F would have been on the side of the interstate. So, so I ended up putting the turnbuckles on there to hold the YZ, and they worked out really good. And it's super easy to load the bike now, it takes literally no time at all. It's a lot faster than straps and it's a lot safer than straps uh, in my opinion. I don't have to worry about these breaking or falling off. Okay, so what I did was I got these, these, um, I'm not sure what these are called actually. They just kind of, they open up and then you can just take them on and off like that. And then I have another one on top of this turnbuckle. So this whole thing you can just take right off. It's easy just to throw in the truck or throw in the garage or whatever. And then you can have them just sitting like this. I have two of them, one on each side. This one's the exact same. I think these are 10 inch turnbuckles. Just open them up on both sides. And then I'll show you how easy it is to load the bike. So now that the bike's on there, the only thing I have to do is grab this. I can just tilt the bike down a little bit, put that in right there. Tighten it a little bit. 
just like that. Then I'll come around to the other side. And once you have the other side cinched down, I'm just gonna grab this one, pull your bike over to press the suspension, slide that one in like that. And then you can just tighten this one down right here. And then that's not going anywhere. As you can see, it takes like 30 seconds to get this whole thing down. Definitely not coming loose. What I did was I took two bolts. I just drilled out the holes a little bit bigger so I can fit these bolts through. And then you can see underneath, I drilled them all the way through the main frame, put lock washers and nuts on there so they're not gonna come off. Really secure, not gonna come off. I just have to get two more turnbuckles and these are gonna be a little bit too big because the KLX is pretty low and I'll have to get probably like a five or six inch turnbuckle for the KLX. Then the last thing I wanna show you is on these tire chocks, what I ended up doing, I thought about putting U-bolts, but instead I just put a bolt through there with a really large washer on the back side. See if you can see that. And that is holding it in place. I mean, it's not moving at all. So definitely don't have to worry about that. These are 15 bucks a piece at Harbor Freight and they do the job just fine. All right guys, so that's gonna be it. That's probably everything I'm gonna do to once I get the two turnbuckles for the KLX on there. I wanna keep it simple that way. I can still use the trailer for other stuff. I don't wanna start you know, putting a whole bunch of stuff on there. With the two turnbuckles on there, I can just take the bottom clips out and then the, everything comes out. So I can just store them in the garage and I'll have them dangling around. It's simple, but it works. So that's all I'm looking for. I want to still be able to use this trailer for other things like throw the kayak on there or whatever else it is that I need to do. I could still do it. And if the tire trucks do get in the way, it's just a few bolts. I can easily take those out with a drill. Not a big deal. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, consider subscribing, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you've used the turnbuckles before, how they worked out for you. Uh, if you have any suggestions or anything, any way I can improve the trailer, just let me know down in the comments. Um, thanks guys, see you next time.